draws me to fighting is that you, you, you know you're going to step in the octagon, you know you're, the other opponent's going to be in there, and you know there's going to be a rest. You know Bruce Buffer's going to say, here's Johnny, here's GSP. And, uh, and you know that you're going to get in there and you're going to fight. And you know five minutes later you're going to get a minute break. Those, those are the things that you know. You know what I mean? Uh, I tell everybody the only thing that you can really control is your heart, mind, and your cardio going into a fight. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, you don't know what's going to happen. I always try to go in for a finish. You know what I mean? A decision's <laughs> hard, but you know, sometimes you can do everything right and not be able to finish somebody. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it, you never know what's gonna happen. Is, it gonna, is this fight gonna be a decision? If I can finish in the first 20 seconds, you better believe I'm gonna try to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from whenever they say fight to whenever they stop the fight, I'm always trying to finish. It's definitely my time, you know, like I told somebody not too long ago, uh, I, GSP's been a great champion, you know, he has. I just think it's time for me to, you know, dethrone him. You know, it's time for somebody new to come in and, and go, f you know, maybe make history. And that's, that's what I want to do is I don't, like I said, I don't want to win the belt. I don't want to just win it and give it up. I want to win it, defend it, and hold on to it as long as I can. And, one day there's going to be somebody like me that comes up. I'm just going to have the smart sense to retire before I get to the octagon with him. <laughs> so I don't want him to get off. I don't want him to have anything. I don't want any questions that he might have won that fight. You know what I'm saying? I want it from the, from the first second to the 24th minute and 59 seconds. It was all Johnny's fight. So a lot of uh, guys in the NFL, the NBA, Nike, and not even the UFC, guys like Johnny Hendricks are doing something called cryotherapy, which in essence isn't a new idea. Everyone knows ice is really good for inflammation. What makes this technology slightly different is that it's basically a sauna with liquid nitrogen or some other really cold gas where you stand in there and see temperatures almost less than 100 degrees Celsius, which is very cold. After a hard day's work, if you have an injury, you have some inflammation, you have some swelling, ice helps. Ice causes the blood vessels to constrict, you're not pumping as much blood and fluid into the joint or the muscles, so the swelling goes down and allows your body to heal. Uh, I love it. it. <laughs> I mean, it's colder than dog, you know, but that's nice. Uh, uh, Johnny Hendricks is a guy who, uh, like this, you know what I mean, enjoys <coughs> being away, you know, family, friends. Uh, and likes to get in the octagon. You know what I mean? It's weird because <clears throat> if, you, if you really think about it, man, I, I tell people all the time, this is not really my profession. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't suit my personality at all. You know, I, I, I try to avoid fights at all costs. Like, I want to have fun and just relax. And here, I fight for a living. I, I'm, not, I'm not a violent person. I don't like to... I don't like getting in fights, but I love getting in the octagon. Man, I, like for some reason, just whenever you can get in there, the things that I can do and, and, and not get in trouble for, that really gets me excited. It, it's nice to know that I can live that way and still be kind to my kids and kind to my wife and, and be able to get friends without being, you know what I mean, that uh, cocky or arrogant and all that kind of stuff. You, you look at the greats, uh, 
you know, you got Matt Hughes, Chuck Liddell, uh, Ray DeCouture, uh, Tito Ortiz. You know, you remember these guys because uh, I remember Randy and uh, Chuck Liddell more than anybody is because of, they were so nice. But man, they fought like no other, you know what I mean? And, and, and you're sitting here and you're like, could I be that kind of a fighter? You know, could I be that kind of a role model? You know, one day my kids, they grow up and somebody says, man, your dad was a really nice guy. Man, he could fight like no other, but he was a nice guy. That's a rare breed, you know what I mean? It is a rare breed and, I, and that's one thing that I want to continue uh, in my career. This is Johnny Hendricks on the shoot.